Well today we're going to be looking at a Lego kit, it's one I didn't know was out um, <clears throat> and this is uh, seems to be a, a range they're calling Speed Champions uh, lots of different cars, I don't know what the speed bit is whether they've got go faster wheels or something um, but there's things like fast and furious cars and this one caught my eye because it's James Bond 007's Aston Martin DB5 Looks like it's actually licensed by Aston Martin. Um, and weirdly, it, either this is a very small kit, which, I mean, it's got a Lego minifig there, um, or there's something strange with it, because it's, it's 17 quid, which for a Lego kit is, like, super cheap. Um, when you think that, like, the Star Wars ones, you get a couple of figures and a little bit of baseboard, and they're 25 quid now. This one's pretty good, so... We're going to have a go and I'll see what it's like. So the box is really nice. Uh, CGI version of the finished car. Um, oh, so that's one to one scale. So it's going to be probably about that long. Uh, quite nice packaging. Not a lot on the sides. I thought I said get a life. That's nice. Uh, on the back, so we've got a back view of it. I don't know whether it's got any features. Normally on the back they show all the features. It's cat hair. Um, photo of an actual Aston Martin. That's very nice. It's like, it's like an Aston Martin that's hit a brick wall. So what we're going to do is pop it open, see what it's like. Ooh, that's tough. Normally they open pretty easily. Wow, that's just collapsing. Ah, there we go. Okay. That's it, put it in there. So you got two bags. Oh, a load of stickers. Interesting, I wonder if it comes with the uh, movable number plate or you just choose which one. Let's have a look at the book. So there he is. I hope you get a James Bond with it as well. Well, let's have a look. So. Oh yeah, it looks like you get James Bond with a spanner. Okay, that's strange. Okay, let's get all the bits out and uh, we'll have a look. Well, so you get lots and lots of pieces. Lots and lots of little pieces. Don't tell us how many pieces. Again, normally it says on it how many pieces you get. Oh, I'm really missing it. I wonder if, I wonder if these are... Well, this can't be aimed at collectors because it says 8 plus on it. Does a book tell us how many pieces you get? No. Okay, we'll give it a go anyway. We, I'm not going to show the whole build because that would be a bit dull, wouldn't it? But let's have a look so you get James Bondy fella. In this tuxedo. There he is, Bond. I don't know which Bond it's meant to be. And it's got the hair colour of um, uh, Daniel Craig. It's quite a nice little figure. I haven't even got a James Bond figure. I don't know why he's got a spanner. Is he going to hit someone? No, you stand over there, mate. So, First job, oh, so here's a, it's going to be one of these um, ones that uses a lot of pieces that are specifically made. So, looks like I need two of them, which are not going to be them. It's going to be them, two of them. They go together. Clunk, clunk. Go in there. And we need two of them. That's presumably the seats. And the gear stick holder, presumably. And then a single a gear stick and a single one of them. So there's a single one of them, which goes there. And then the gear stick goes into it. 
a quite nice little interior I think it's going to have. And then you turn it round. No, I done that the wrong way round. Gear stick goes in that. Okay. Uh, then a flat tour. Do you still call them tours? We used to call them tours, oneers, fourers. <laughs> uh, and then two edged pieces. Go like that. So that's building up. So I'm going to build this off camera because it's uh, you don't want to watch me doing it all. And then we'll come back and have a look at it when it's done and uh, see what it's like. Well, I finished the model and it's a great looking kit. Um, really old school Lego making. Lots and lots of tiny little parts that go together. And there's not that many specialist parts in there. I think just the chassis part. Everything else is made up. You have to be quite careful putting it together because a lot of the parts have got um, printing on rather than stickers, which is nice. Uh, but it does mean that some of the little flat pieces, you might put the wrong ones on if you're not careful. So that's worth being careful about. Uh, the roof comes off. So you, let, you put the James Bond figure inside. The seat's really nice as well. There's a bit of a um, instrument panel, but not much. The seats have got a brake lever on, uh, a gear stick. Uh, the only other gimmick, other than the number plates, is the back panel comes out to show the machine guns. That just clips in, and then you get uh, a set of number plates, so you can replace the number plates like they do in the film. Uh, they just don't revolve. So for 17 quid, absolute bargain. Really, really nice looking, iconic vehicle. Um, highly, highly recommended. It's going to go on the shelf with pride. Um, thanks for watching. If you want to see more Lego videos, then let me know. I've got quite a collection going on. Um, there is a new back cave out that I got my eye on. Um, please like and subscribe if you can. That does help the video uh, with the uh, dreaded algorithms. And uh, if you really want to help the, the channel, please visit our Patreon. Uh, there's various uh, sort of packages over there. But other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks then. Bye.